Warning, the following video you're about to see contains offensive language to some. So, you've been warned. I drank at least six beers throughout the night. I get up in the morning, throw my dip out, crack open a beer, rinse my mouth out, go brush my teeth, come back in there, and I put a dip in, start drinking my beer, fix me some breakfast. As long as I'm handling my shit, there is nothing wrong with drinking beer and dipping skull at four in the morning. And you know why? Because it's America, and this shit legends are made of. <laughs> <laughs> I drink a few beers with your brother. And, uh... Just tell him that he would like to meet me because he knows I like to drink beer and lift weights and go on about it. And, uh, he told my sister, he said, I'd like to hang out with him. He's pretty cool. And my sister's like, um, I don't know if you want to hang out with my brother. He, uh, he don't like people like you and... Second off, it ain't no just drinking beer with my brother. He uh, he drinks like a 30 pack or a couple. Shit legends are made of that. You see that heart shot? It's all day. Josh, I ain't going to the doctor. Someone there to take me a good shit. <laughs> and I was sitting down. And uh, finally I got done with that and I was like, I'm just going to cut it. So. Uh, Got alcohol, poured it on my knife, bleed, and took it and had a good old gash in there, bled it out a little bit. Swelling went down, and it still wouldn't quit bleeding because I made a good gash. So I took needle and thread and put my two stitches in there. Fixed up, good to go. <laughs> <laughs> that was a true story. I go into a store last Sunday morning. It was about 6.30 in the morning and I ran out of beer. So hell, I go buy beer and start selling at 6. So I go to the store, walk in there, open the door, walk back there, grab me a case of beer, walk up, put it on candidate, they, they let me pay for it. Hand on money. Give <laughs> my change. Fixing to walk out the fucking door and I hear, wait a minute, you can't sell that yet. You can't sell that yet. They done sold it to me. And she's like, sir, if you walk out the door, you're going to get some trouble. Because uh, we ain't supposed to sell beer until 11 o'clock on Sundays. I said, what kind of goofy bullshit rule is that? This ain't fucking Arkansas. And I had to fucking, me being a nice guy, you know, I didn't want nobody to lose a job. So I put the beer back on the counter and got my money back. And at fucking 1101, I was back there buying that same beer, getting my fucking shit out of there. But it made me mad. Who the fuck can't buy beer at 11 fucking o'clock in the day? Mm, Arkansas don't even sell beer on Sundays. Like, what kind of fucking rule is that? Don't go to Arkansas. Don't go to Arkansas. Especially when you're drunk and still ain't got no beer because there's a shortage on beer. You can drive all the way to Arkansas and then realize it's Sunday. That was a true story. <laughs> still ran running out of beer, so I thought, hell, I'll run to Arkansas. I drove to Fort Smith, they were out, or I went to Rolling, no beer, I hit all the back road stores, no beer, went all the way into Fort Smith, no beer, and they said, you could probably go to, uh, what the fuck is it, Ozark, they said, you probably, it's like two hour farther drive, right? you probably go there, yeah, I think they sell beer on Sundays, I said, fuck if I'm going to drive an extra two hours to buy me a case of beer, I walked down, and guess what I did, I drove an extra two hours to buy me a couple cases of beer, so I'm about to run out again. be a miss. Hey, I'm sure there'll be plenty more adventures where that came from and whatever you do be responsible be safe. <laughs>